Alright, um, I've had multiple requests to make a matching tutorial. Most of them have been uh, from people who need help with zombie hovers, although some of them have been from uh, people who need help mashing for other things. Um, I'm going to go over three different methods of mashing that I can do, and that I know of, in this video. And then after, because most of my the requests for it have been from people who need help with zombie hovers, uh, I'm going to have a basic zombie hover tutorial after mashing, my mashing tutorial here. And then after this video, I'm going to have uh, four more videos, each one going over uh, the, one of the four hovers in the current one Waker any percent route. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll start off with the method. Well, okay, first off, um, I'm going to load up an app right here on the Homebrew channel. That helps you know how fast you mash. Um, I'll have a link to it in the description below the video. I believe you just need to uh, download it, extract the files, and then put the files in the apps folder on the SD card for your Wii, uh, provided you have Homebrew installed on your Wii. Um, and once you have that, you can use this app to help you know how fast you mash, because it keeps track of it for you. So first off, I'm going to uh, go over the method that I use to mash for zombie hovers, and whenever I need to mash fast, the one that I primarily go to. And I mash with both thumbs. Um, a lot of people know this, but I, a lot of people have tried it, I know, and have had difficulty with it. So I'm going to try and explain how I do it right now. Um, the way I imagine most people do it is like this. You, you move your thumbs, hit the B button. Uh, how I do it is I have, and that's awkward because your thumb will keep hitting uh, your thumbs will keep hitting each other and delaying you from actually they delay you from actually pressing the B button. But what I do is I have my left thumb on the top left of the B button like this, and my right thumb is on the bottom right. And then I don't move my thumbs to mash. What I do is I move my uh, I move the controller by moving my arms. Like I move my elbows, sort of. Like I move my right arm up. I'll, I'm gonna do it slowly to sort of show what I mean. Like I move my yeah. Like right now I'm gonna move my right arm up, and it's going to push the controller on my left thumb. Then I move my right arm down. Well, I'm not gonna move my right arm down. I'm gonna move my sorry. I meant, left arm up, and it'll bring my right thumb into contact with the B button, and then if you just keep doing that, it's, if you just keep doing it really quickly, it's pretty easy to do fast, and you don't even need to do it that fast, uh, for hovers, which I'll get into later. And once you practice it a lot, you can get really fast at it, and just progressively Increase how fast you can mash doing it. I'm not doing well at this right now. There we go. Alright, yeah, contrary to popular belief, I don't mash as fast as people think I do. Uh, I've said I can go up to 15 a second with this, and I can, and I'll try and do that right now. Yeah, right there I just did. Um, it's very tiring to do that, and, but it's not impossible to. And when it comes to zombie hovers, you don't want to exceed 15 mashes per second, because then you start dropping inputs, and that's bad, and it makes Link fall. Um, with this, you want to focus on consistency at first. So like, even if you have to start out going slow, like this, that's fine, and then just practice it and eventually you'll just be able to go faster without trying. So if you try to go fast at the start, it's going to feel really awkward, because you won't be used to uh, doing it this way. Anyway, that's the method I use. Uh, the next method I'm going to go over is one that I know a bunch of other people use, and that's one-handed mashing. Uh, basically, it's just uh, this webcam <laughs> positioning is awkward. 
Uh, basically, I'm trying to think of a good way. Okay, you just keep doing this to the B button. Although you do it really, really quickly. Like so fast, you barely see your hand come off the uh, controller. And usually, when you do it like this, I'm not consistent at it at all. When you do it like this, you want to have your upper arm like tensed up, and you want to focus on moving your elbow. Like moving your arm from your elbow to your hand. Up and down, not so much your entire arm or your hand. And I know, yeah, I just got up to 14. I, this is what I used to use before I found double thumb mashing and I got consistent at it. But I switched to double thumb because this is way less tiring and it doesn't require as much effort than doing uh, 14 a second or however fast you do it with one arm. So that's the second method. And then the final method, I'm not good at at all. I mean, I can kind of do it, but I know one person who does it. Uh, and he says he uses both pointers. And the way I imagine, the way I can do it with both pointers is like this. And it's kind of awkward to do because you can't hold the controller. I mean, maybe you could hold the controller and you do both pointers and do something like this, I guess. Alright, so those are the three methods I know of, and I also want to say, you know, you don't have to use a method that other people use. You can try and get creative. Um, like, I know, uh, I think, yeah, I know someone who said they a while ago, I don't know if they still match that way, but they like, they had their hand above the B button or something and they moved their leg up and down really fast to bounce the controller into uh, their thumb. I don't know if they still do it though. Uh, let's see, what else do I have to go over? Any other math methods? Um, not really, I'm bad at it. Like this is an awkward thing to try and teach people how to do, so. I'm going to leave it at that because I really don't know how to expand upon it. And now I'm going to... guess I'm going to go over zombie hovering. So I have a dolphin set up for this. <coughs> Let's see. Turn the audio off on it so you can hear it. That's a bit too loud. So, uh, nice, I, I only have one working controller, I have two GameCube controllers, but one on the B button is broken on, so I had my controller plugged into the Wii for the mashing app that I was just on. Anyway, uh, with, I'm gonna, ex okay, basically a zombie hover, as most of you probably already know, if you're watching this because you need help with it, uh, is your jump, you're doing multiple jump attacks in the air. Like, whenever you do a mid-air jump attack, you gain a little bit of height. But we do it while we're dead, so basically it cancels the jump attack, and it stops you after you gain a little bit of height and makes you start to fall. Um, but instead of continuing to fall, you can continue to do more jump attacks while you're in the air. That's basically what a zombie hover is, and the faster you do the jump attacks, the more height you gain. Um, now... You get in the air by, like, before you die, there's a small window for you to do an initial jump attack, to do one jump attack, then after that jump attack you just keep doing more jump attacks. Um, to get lift off for a zombie hover, wow, I didn't realize the remote wasn't in the, uh, cam, sorry about that. Okay, there's two ways to get lift off for a hover. You can time it, or you can mash for it. I personally time it because mashing for me is not consistent, for liftoff at least. And that is because in order to get liftoff 100% consistently, you need to mash, uh, in order to get 100% consistently with mashing, you need to mash both the A and B button um, at the exact same time, at the exact, at almost exactly the same amount of times per second. And I am pretty bad at mashing them both at the exact same time. I can mash them both at the same amount of time, at the same 
uh, rate per second, but I can't do it at the same time exactly. Like, I'll do it right now to show you what it looks like when you do get it with the... Uh... Like, I can't do that consistently. And then, okay, I didn't even explain how you get lift off. I mean, let me save state over near the bombs so I don't need to keep running back. Uh, you're gonna hold L. Most, most of you already know this. You hold L, and then you mash both A and B, if you're gonna mash. Uh, and then, once you're in the air, I'll show I'll just do it. You hold L, and you mash A and B after Link gets blown back. And then once you're in the air, you can let go of L, you can let go of A, and only mash B. Now, uh, I time it, and timing it is not as bad as it sounds. For the very first jump attack, after you get blown back by the bomb, you have, I believe, 10 frames, roughly, uh, due to the first jump attack. Then after that, you have, I think it's four frames? Hang on, I have something open here. Yeah, it's four frames to do the first B jump attack, the first air jump slash. And then after that, it just keeps going up, as in how many frames, like, the amount of frames you have before you hit the ground just keeps going up, obviously, after that point. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when you time lift off, or when I time lift off. I only press A once. Like, and it's, it's really, you kind of have to be good at double thumb mashing to time it. Like I said, it's a 10 and then a 4 frame window. A 10 for the first jump slash, 4 for the second. So it's not that bad at all. It's definitely consistent with practice. As you can see, I'm getting it pretty damn consistently. There was a time where I struggled with it though, unfortunately. But yeah, practice will get you consistent at it, if you want to try it. Otherwise, just practice the... Uh, Nice, nice dolphin lag. Just the mashing. Okay, now the issue with mashing for me, I didn't explain this. Uh, I didn't explain why you have to mash at the exact same time at the exact same rate. Um, like I said, you have 10 frames for the first jump attack to get off the ground after you die. But if you ma if you hit B during those 10 frames instead of A, you instantly die. Because instead of jump attacking, Link swings his sword, and he remains on the ground. Nice, I just noticed I had freaking dolphin audio muted. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, where was I? Alright, I'll show you what it looks like if you mash B. If you hit B during those 10 frames before you get off the ground. You just die instantly. Like, I'll try and show you what it looks like, too, if you're mashing and you hit B first, instead of A. I couldn't even do it. Like, that's how... Ugh. Wow, I was... It used to be super inconsistent at this, but... But yeah, if you hit B before A during those 10 frames, you just die instantly, because Link goes to swing his sword. And he remains on the ground, and therefore ends up going through the death animation. Because, and the reason that works is because he can't go through the death animation when he's in the air. Let's see, what else do I have to go over? Um, okay, yeah, for liftoff, in order to get liftoff, if you're going to mash for it, you only need to mash something like 8 times a second. 7 or 8 times a second to get left off consistently. If you mash 7 8 times a second every second, like, until you get left off, you will get it consistently. That's provided you press both A and B at the exact same time. Um, in order to gain height, you only need to mash nine, 8 to 9 times a second. And then, in order to gain a lot of height, you're gonna want in order to go really fast during a hover, you'll want to mash like 12 times a second or more. Um, however, you do not need 
any you do not need to mash any faster than 10 times a second to do all the hovers in the route you can do all of them with only mashing 10 times a second and that's what i'm going to go over i'm going to go over each hover individually and show you ways that you can do each hover if you mash slowly in the four other videos i plan to make so i hope this helps a little bit maybe even though it was probably pretty bad because like i said it's an awkward thing to try and explain um, if there's something you need questions with, leave a comment or message me on Twitch or something like that, and I'll help you. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that, and I'll hopefully make the other videos for each hover pretty soon.